Good morning. Well, I got that wrong, didn't I? I spent the last hour watering all my plants and that. Stop the smell of roses. Doesn't smell like much, actually, that one. And uh, now it starts to rain. If you live on the west coast, this isn't rain, is it, Poe? I've got my jacket on. Big Z. Pace has already had a bit of a walk this morning. Morning, Poe. Hello, Poe. Poe. How you doing, Poe? How you doing, Poe? Good girl, Poe. Yes, you're a good girl. And you're a good boy too, Big Z. Oh, yes, you are. You're a good girl. Okay. We're going to go for a walk in the drizzle. Yep. Yes, we are. Come on. Let's go. Leave those apples, Poe. Leave those apples, Poe. Poe, come. Out of there. Don't you touch my apples. Leave her alone, Pace. Well, Mr. Big Z Master, we're going to put a rope on you, don't we? Because you're trouble. Yes, you are, mate. Pace in the background waiting for me to let him out. Big Z, come. Up. Keep the pace away, aren't we? Yes, we are, mate. Good boy. Yeah, there he goes. Look at you. You can sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Come on. Heel up. I had to net my corn because Super Duck was starting to pull it out. Now it can't even fit in the cage. I have to put more nets over it. Trampolines make great shelter for animals. Have you got an old trampoline? These guys think I'm feeding them right now, but I'm not. Yeah, I know what you want, mate. You want some nuts? Even the neighbour sheep come over. I filled their trough up last night. It's my exercise carrying a couple of buckets of water. Oh, these apples are growing fast. Poe's looking for the odd sheep nut I've dropped last night when I was feeding the sheep. These are my pomegranates growing here. I'm doing all right. It's a bit quiet now, Damo's gone. I miss him. He's a good bastard. I've got more pomegranates growing here, and here, and there, and there, and there. I've actually got six, seven in total. Pomegranates are anti-carcinogenic. They are got, they've got all sorts of health benefits, but they taste bloody good, but they're also bloody expensive, five bucks each. So, take a while for them to grow here. They think they grow in places like Hawaii and warmer countries. Uh, get them, Bigsy. Uh, California. We import most of ours, but we can grow them in New Zealand. Currently, Margaret and Hillary that live in my houseboat, well, they're staying there on and off right now. They're in Australia for a while. And Margaret's Subaru is parked up where I'm going to build my log cabin. We're going to go and see how the aquatic life's doing down at my little pond. What have you seen, Poe? Ah, uh, she's watching. I think there's a farmer coming up to do his sheep this morning, next door. She doesn't miss a thing, Poe, eh? She's watching everything all the time. Best guard dog I've ever had. Even better than Bruno at finding people. She's constantly watching. Can you hear that? That's the work going on at Construct. They've finished building my studio. Just need to get a high ab to get it over here now. Oh yeah, they've got a uh, yard put up for the sheep. He must be putting a handy dog out there to get those sheep in, I guess. I haven't seen a dog, but uh, he must be using a dog to round them up, I guess. It's a good time to have my dogs in a paddock, because when dogs start chasing sheep, it can excite my dogs, and they might want to chase them too. We don't want that. Something's moving those sheep. Oh, he's coming right down the paddock in his truck. Surprised to see him driving over all that grass. I guess he's not worried about it. See these trucks going back and forward all the time? What they're doing is they're taking away tons and tons of dirt. Because over there, where the slippers, where the whole bank is come down on the road, the road that we use to get to Marpur from here is completely blocked off. And they've started uh, just moving it. Oh, here comes a stock truck. I see, they're going to probably pick up these sheep then. There's a stock truck coming up here. That is definitely a stock truck. Where's he going? I reckon he's going to get up that driveway. Ah, yeah, he's got a handy dog now. He's got his bonnet open. Might have some truck problem. Okay, cool. Yeah, there goes the stock truck going up there. Okay, going to pick those sheep up. Mm-hmm. Lauren Harry's Orchard. Yep, I want to see the dog round those up. I'll have to keep my dog zone, that's for sure. I know Pace would like to uh, join in the fun and games, rounding up sheep. There she goes now. Big old stock truck. It's almost like the sheep know they're starting to move before he's even put his dog out there. Cool. I do have a duck down here sitting on some eggs. I'm not uh, getting excited about it. Ah, fuck, it just got stung. Oh, jeez. Money. Oh, that had to happen. Redneck Joey's just put um, some bees up there and um, he put two more hives in last night and I just got a beauty on my knee. I'll have a bit of an uh, have a bit of a reaction to that, so I'll go up to the house and get an antihistamine. <laughs> that was that woke me up. 
I could feel it on me and while I was talking and then um, bang, got me right in the knee. I managed to get the sting out. That'll come up very fat in a minute, I'd say. And for summer, the pond's not too bad. There's bubbles coming out there. Know what that's all about. G'day, mate. You're doing a good job of staying on there, aren't you? Yeah? Oh, long may they last. What you guys all doing in the grass there, eh? Is your feet are working? Yeah, it's a bit wet in there, though. I can't believe how fast these guys eat their wheat. I only just filled that up. My God. Right, eh? Let's bring some more down. You guys are pigs. What are you doing over there, Pace? You get back in, Pace. Come on. He's not listening. Good boy. That's a good boy. Get in. Come on. Well, it didn't need me rain coat because the rain said it didn't come. But pretend it was coming and then it didn't come. What if like another truck pulling up to you? We've got a lot of people coming down here today. Who's that? Oh, we've got oh, that's next door, Clint's. So Clint is uh, the owner of Construct. That's where they're building our new recording studio. Well, they built it. And they uh, make fabricated buildings. Now Clint's a good bastard. He's looking after me with the price and uh, making it pretty reasonable actually. So uh, just got to get it here. When we get it, we can start uh, creating some really like top end sort of video and music for the channel. Because right now, everything you guys watch is on my phone. It's not even edited to this stuff. This is just straight off the phone. Here goes another truck of dirt from the hill. I'm keeping all my dogs in right now. These guys have got their stock dogs out now. They've got three working dogs I can see. What was it? Four? Four. Oh, look at that. I love watching them work the sheep. We might stand up and watch them do that. My dogs are all watching very intently. Pose, no. She knows exactly what's going on. Jeez, I'm glad he's tied up. He'd just bloody go for it. Wouldn't you, Bigsy, eh? They're all watching. You stay here. They're all watching. My dogs are intently watching these other dogs wanting to be part of it. I can tell you dogs ain't gonna happen, you're staying right with me. It's quite far off, I don't wanna get any closer than this. You stay in, and stay here. Both uh, Pace and Poe can jump my fence if they go for a running down here. If they ran down here in full speed, they'd easy clear my fence and get involved in that, and that would be a disaster. Because they're not sheep dogs, they're pig dogs. They see dogs chasing something, but they're not allowed to chase. Bigsy's probably the dog that turns his ears off the most, wanna have a problem. Poe and Pace are pretty good at listening. And they put a dog up, two dogs up already. No into it. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I'm filming a long way off, guys, so I can't really come in close and show you how those dogs are working, but it's cool to watch, really is. These guys have got their dogs well under control. Look at those other two just staying in while the other ones are running around. Good to see. I think if I had life again, I'd be a shepherd. In the hills, working sheep with dogs like that. What a great life. Some of the fittest people I've met in my life have been shepherds. Yeah, Po. What's that, eh? You staying in? Oh, where's Pace gone? Get back in here! While I was filming, you sneaking off down there. You get behind, Pace! Get him behind! Boy, crikey, you'll have your guts for shark bait. You stay here. You're not getting involved in any of that. Oh, yep. Coming in. Pretty quiet. Haven't had any barking yet. Must be just eye dogs. Haven't had one bark at all. The sheep will be getting tired soon. Get around the outside. No noise at all, eh? My dog's crying. He's using hand. I haven't heard a whistle. I've heard a few. Ha I've heard a few uh, commands, but I haven't one whistle. He's using his hands a lot. Oh, there's a whistle now. He's just pointing left and right, and the dogs know what to do, eh? Bit of people power there too. You can see what's going on here. They're going to try and get him in. Is that going to go outside? That dog's doing well. Get on the outside. Good dog. You stay here, Pace. You're not having a bar of it, mate. You stay in. Man, I'm glad I've got a rope on you, boy, hey? You hear? I know what you want to do. Stay here. Stay in. Stay in. Stay here. No! You stay in. Pace, that'll do! Stay here. No! You stay in. Now the dog's starting to bark, it's changing a bit. Stay here. 
All my dogs start to go. That'll do, Pace. I don't know how long I'll keep filming this. Poe, get him behind. Get him behind, Poe. Gee, guys, trying to film this and keep my dogs at the same time is not easy. Uh, these guys doing a good job. Stay in. You stay in, Pace. Well, those guys made that look bloody easy. No stuff ups at all, eh? And the rest is the sheep are going to go up. Stay in, Big Z. Good girl, Poe. Poe's wagging her tail. She knows the story. She's watching everything. That'll do, Pace. You stay in, Pace. No. You'll be in trouble. You stay in, Pace. Stay here. Oh, you're going well. I wonder if they're going to do anything before they go on the truck. Are they drenching? No, straight up into it. Oh, that's uh, such a smooth operation. They've let one go. Okay. So they must be just taking lambs in. Is it lambs for Christmas and letting the mums go? Is that what's going on there? Yeah, not sure what's going on. Whether that one jumped out or whether they're just uh, taking the lambs. Don't know. Those dogs are going to sort that one out pretty quick. Oh no, they're doing it on their own. <laughs> His, his master telling him no. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if they're uh, taking them all or uh, separating them. You're not having it, Big Z. No, mate. You're not touching that. Neither are you, Poe. Good girl. Or Pace. Stay in, Big Z. Get back in here, Pace. Where do you think you're going? Stay in. I'm going to put my dogs in the kennel because at any moment they're going to bolt. You've done well, guys. You've done well. You did well. I don't know about you, Pace. You would have. Come on, Pace. You come with me. You're not. You're not chewing some wool. Bloody Pace has run off. Right, right. Put those two dogs away. I bet she's gone down by those fucking sheep. He's fucking down there. What are you doing, eh? He was rotting amongst the other dogs. Bad dog. Bad dog. What are you doing? You just little bastard. Get him behind. You wouldn't believe it, would you? He ran all the way from my house, right down here. Jumped over the fence and right into where the... Lucky the sheep were inside the bloody yard. Stay here, Pace. Get in here. Come on. And those other dogs, they, they could have attacked him so easily. They could have mauled him. They didn't. Jeez. You're a... Get in behind. Heal up. He did come when I called him. Far out. That may be sprint. <laughs> oh, shit. Here I was thinking I'd got them inside the fence and he ran right around. You little bastard. He's lucky they didn't bloody... There's four dogs here. He's lucky they didn't pack on him. Could have turned pear shape. Shit. No. Well, if you guys that are uh, doing this or watching this video, sorry about that. <laughs> Did everything in me power to keep him. Get him, Pacey, you little shit. Oh. He knew he was doing naughty. He's a bad dog. Oh. You can imagine what would happen if all my three dogs had joined and that would have been that would have been serious because yeah that's why I put them away and I cut their walk short. Oh no dramas. Those working dogs were good. They used to other dogs. Pace, you're an idiot. You're a bloody idiot. Yes you are. Bloody idiot. And I'm an idiot for not taking my eye off. Just so I was putting the other dogs in the kennel, he legged it down the driveway here to there. What's that? Hey, what's that? You like that, don't you? Mm-hmm. Hey, Super Duck? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Trouble is, you don't have uh, teeth, do you? you got a bloody beak. Two for Big C today. Small one for you, Poe, because you get fat easy. You deserve bloody nothing, but by now you've completely forgotten about what you've done wrong, so you get some too. Wait for the command. Are you growling at me? Are you growling? I should be growling at you. I should be growling at you, Pace. No. You wait for the command. What do you think you are, a bloody sheepdog now? Wait for it. You wait for the command. I tell you what, you're trouble. No, wait for it. Stop the barking, it'll do. You wait for it. Pace, shut up. Listen. That'll do. No. That's enough. No. Eat up. Slow down, Bigsy. Slow down, mate. Bigsy, slow down. 
that's enough, we're taking that away from you, leave it. At that speed there, you get in bits. Eat up. Oh man, he's too, too fast. Whew, jeez, what a morning. No hey, Poe, you're a good girl, aren't you, eh? You can see how much my dogs need to be hunted, eh? Pace just wants to everything. He's a killer. He's a kamikaze pilot. He's a bloody ADHD whippet cross Jack Russell, cross God knows what, that wants to kill shit. Anyway, I'm going to take some veggies out of my garden and uh, have a nutrient-packed breakfast. Look at these beauties, eh? Growing in my little, uh, my town garden, as I call it, or my city garden. These are just massive. Look at that there. Oh yeah, look at the size of this leaf here. That's just one leaf of kale. Check that out. It's like silver beak, the size of it. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of these off for breakfast this morning. I have a lot of greens. I have a lot of everything. One day I'll show you guys exactly what I'm eating. You'd be surprised. Uh, I'm on what's called a nutritarian diet right now for my health, and uh, by God, is it making a difference? I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It's, it's like a, I call it ass food. Because there's a lot of a lot of fractions if you eat this stuff. Oh, what else can we pick this morning to eat? I've I already had a uh, sneaky feed of strawberries. Well, the wasabi um, is just doing so well, and when we get some fish, we're going to be able to make some beautiful um, wasabi for sashimi. We're going to eat the leaf of that. You can see the rising. This is this part. Here's the part that you actually eat the wasabi. And where I've just harvested that leaf there, what it does is it increases the size of the rising. That's why we want to pick the leaves off. Here's another one here for harvest. So we're just going to push that down, like that there. Put it away. And I've got this leaf here for my breakfast this morning. I'll cut that bit of... Oh, that's okay. We'll eat all that. It's all good. We can eat every part of that. Bit of this out of the garden. My weedy garden. Looks like my uh, spinach has almost gone to weed, isn't it? We'll chew on that. It'll be alright. Nothing wrong with it. Good old sea silver beet. I think every kiwi's got silver beet in their garden. And yeah, we've also got some, well it's a different type of silver beet. What is it? It's got the wee logo on it there. It's, uh, oh no, silver beet caught bright lights. Hmm, put that back in so I remember. Some beetroot leaves, and the leaves actually taste just like beetroot. Okay, I want to get our, our leafy greens. So some beetroot leaves, some of those. And this bok choy is just about stuffed, I'd say. Pretty much in it. Yeah, she's a bit rough. I have to plant some more. I've got some growing in the grow house. Might steal that leaf off there. Oh, the old curly kale's starting to get away. Nice. I like the curly kale. These are my spring onions the bloody rabbits got into. But hey, I'll take one off this morning for that too. It's a cracker, isn't it? Water air mushrooms. I'll pick them in from the forest. Smack them in there. If you're taking a blood thinner for anything, then uh, water your mushrooms will also thin your blood, so be aware of that. The stalks of your silver beet have got just as much goodness as the leaf. The heat in the wasabi is also in the stalks. Gojo berries, only because I have a fetish for gojo berries. They uh, help the tart part, or the bitter part of the vegetable, sweeten up a little bit. There's one more thing I want to put in there. And that's uh, finely chopped raw venison. Nah, I'm telling a tall story. I wish. No. Oregano. Mm, duck would be good in there, wouldn't it, Super Duck? I'd say you're fat enough for the pot. You're not doing much other than sitting around, Limpy. No, it's just here. And it's actually starting to seed already or flower. Oregano, or rocket as we call it here in New Zealand. It's uh, very, very high for um, nitrates. And that's what we want. We want to have those nitrates so we get that nice uh, nitric oxide broken down from our endothelial when we chew the stuff up. That's what that stuff there's for. That's what I grew up for. Should probably be, be enough, I'd say. Thank you. My little uh, garden. You could grow a garden like this at home if you had two square metres. I still think beef would be nice in this. And on that note, if you're doing a beef salad, this is the plant It's a must-have in a beef salad. This one here. This is a uh, kefir. Uh, we're not actually allowed to say kefir anymore for political reasons, although I still say it because it's a kefir to me and that's all it means, it means nothing else. It certainly doesn't mean a person of some description. So the leaf, you roll it up, the leaf, you roll it up and then you cut it very fine 
and you can also use the juice of the lime of these and that will make a beautiful Thai beef salad absolutely delicious smashing nice oh I'm salivating think about it nice cut beef that's just been just touched in the pan so it's dripping with blood you mix it with that and all your veggies and oh mate you've got something that's going to melt in your mouth you, your mouth is going to explode your tongue is going to have nuclear multiple explosive orgasms in your tongue did I just say that? Chopping it up and just sticking it straight in like that because I can. Right, two minutes. Two minutes. How's the mushrooms looking? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Turn that off and just let it sit for a bit. My good mate Simon's arrived. We're going to buy some zinc loom off him today for the garden. Smash that in there. Yuck. That's uh, Simon's office out there, folks. Good office for you mate, you've got some uh, stag and tar and boar behind you, perfect for you. <laughs> the one handed chef cuts up the water like this. You want to cook the stuff, although you can eat it raw, but uh, it's got chitin in it, which um, not ideal. If I was in a survival situation I'd chomp on it raw. Big lumps of uh, venison would be nicer, or duck, but that's what we're using today. It's sort of like noodles. Here we go, looks good. Uh, we want lots of this, we're going to make it bloody hot. It's going to be hot as. Are you carrying on buddy? There you go mate. This here guys is uh, nutritional yeast, going to smash it on top of my, we've got the balsic vinegar and we've got that, we've got the chilli. Yeah, we're going to toss it because you guys know I'm a bit of a tosser. And we're doing a pretty good job of it too. It's a sprinkling of cinnamon guys because cinnamon goes good on everything. Just that, uh, tried a little bit of that there. Scoffed an antihistamine from a base thing, and um, this here is something that I've been drinking now for probably six months. Josh put me onto it, it's dandelion root tea, and I've kind of become addicted to it. I love it. Oh, there's some really interesting data on that, too. If you look, I think it's in the British Medical Journals, I think. Well, it might be the Lancet, don't quote me, but. Consuming this every day uh, gives you some protection against viruses, including COVID. So that's that's always a good thing, isn't it? Right, let's try this out. This is the uh, the scoff I've made. Like I said, it'd be nice with a bit of venison in it. <laughs> the chilli, I put way too much chilli in again. <laughs> Hot. Anyway, guys, that. Uh, I'm going to go and take the kayak down to Grossy Point, see if I can catch a kawaii. So, I'm not going to film that, I'll just finish this, and the next video will be a fishing video for you guys, so look forward to that. See you then. Be good. Can't be good, be careful. It's hot. <laughs> see you later. Very, very hot.